I haven't uploaded a video on YouTube for longer than a year, yet somehow I have gained more than 1 million likes over social media. So how come I have achieved something so great without even being active? Let me tell you. It was once every kid's dream to become a famous YouTuber, or Twitch streamer, or even a TikTok star. At one point in everyone's childhood, that was the dream. Since I was about 9 years old, I have been creating videos on YouTube. I used to watch a lot of the huge YouTube stars from the early 2010s, and the ones who encouraged me the most were people like Rotashaw, David Dobrik, KSI, Markiplier, and many more. I started to try and make videos similar to these guys, mostly focusing on gaming videos including FIFA and Minecraft, dreaming that one day I could make my content as good as theirs. My first videos were awful, but now I look back, it's great to see that I was being creative with video ideas, considering I didn't have the top quality recording and editing software. During the time around 2015 and 2016, many of my friends also had YouTube channels, and we started to make videos together, which were mostly us playing sports or video games, and occasionally some stupid challenges that we had seen on the internet. As YouTube content began to evolve and new trends set in, we also started to learn how to make YouTube content a lot better. We all had dreamed to achieve what any other kid would during that time, but eventually many of our dreams were broken and motivation was lost, learning that it was actually really hard to even gain 100 subscribers at the time. I started making vines back then with my friends, and similar to YouTube, we would gain inspiration from the people at the top and recreate skits, but with our own twist to it. We actually got a good amount of views on Vine, but sadly, we all know what happened to that app. 2017 was a huge year for YouTube, mostly because of the switch up in viral content. Daily vlogging began to take over social media, and it caught my attention especially. Bloggers such as Danny Duncan, Tanner Fox, Jake Paul, Logan Paul, Josh and Katie Brockner, Winderson Nunes, Casey Neistat, and Tanner Brongart were just some of the many vloggers I used to love watching back in the day. These guys encouraged me to try and create vlogs, mostly of stuff I would do on a weekend. But due to being a kid, there was many restrictions to what I could do, based on the area I was in, limited travel, and money, so it was hard to match the content that my idols were making. By the end of 2017, more YouTubers began to go viral for the crazy challenges they were doing, such as the Island Boy Productions, Jack Doherty, more J Stu, etc. I watched these guys do challenges for a while, and within a year, I finally had the confidence and knowledge to go out in public and make decent quality videos, something I had dreamt of for a while. Once I started making videos almost weekly, I began to learn more about editing and videography, and although I was self-teaching it to myself, I could see a great improvement in video quality as the time went on. I started to get my friends involved in my videos again, as every week we would try something new and more exciting, and they would actually enjoy. I started to notice that I was getting more subscribers each day, and Although it wasn't loads, it still felt like a huge deal to me. I noticed other friends I had were creating YouTube videos at the time, so we decided to collaborate and help each other gain views and followers by sharing video ideas, editing tips, and knowledge. Time was moving fast, and I was creating a YouTube video at least every three days, and it was already 2020. By this time, I had bought myself a good quality camera for photography, and of course YouTube videos, and I had taught myself how to edit through iMovie very well. My content itself had developed from creating gaming videos, to then vlogging, and funny challenges in public. I began to discover new YouTubers and content that inspired me to explore new genres of YouTube videos which I wanted to create, mostly focusing on travel. A Thai YouTuber named My Mate Nate caught my attention and seeing his videos focusing on traveling a lot around the areas I live close to, I knew I could create similar quality videos. TikTok began to take the internet by storm come the end of 2019, so during the lockdown era of 2020, I created a YouTube video named Trying to Become TikTok Viral in 48 Hours, and although I did not achieve that goal in the video, it was ironic, because just one year later, that exact thing happened. As 2020 went on, I slowly lost motivation of developing YouTube videos, but I was still making one at least every month. In 2021, I began to make TikToks as they were easy and quick to make. Within a few weeks, my videos began to go viral, picking up incredible views, hundreds of thousands in fact. Although some of these videos were slightly controversial, many people still supported the content I was making. I closed in on almost 50,000 followers. After a while, my content creation slowed down and views began to drop due to a lot changing in my life. I still made a few TikToks, 
but wasn't getting the views. I transitioned back to focusing a bit more on YouTube, as I had been doing that since I was viral on TikTok anyway. But soon after, I lost that interest in that. I didn't have the motivation I had when I was a kid, and slowly I realized that becoming a content creator was a lot harder than I thought. In 2022, a few of my TikToks went viral, and it began to push my followers up again, and also my likes, as I closed in on almost 900,000 total likes over social media. Eventually, I faced a series of problems in my life, and I knew that taking myself off social media was the best thing I could do. So I stopped making all the content completely as it felt like the best option for me. The summer of 2023 had resolved a lot of issues I was facing and noticed I was getting close to 1 million likes on TikTok. Although I said I was not bothered about creating content anymore for YouTube or TikTok, I remembered that ever since I was a kid, my dream was to become a famous YouTube star and something we would all say was, I'm going to have a million followers one day. This made me want to achieve the goal of 1 million likes. And although it wasn't a million subscribers or followers, it would feel amazing just to see the number 1 million next to my name. I created one TikTok video for the first time in a year, and it didn't take long for it to go viral again. After some time, the number of 1 million was next to my name. I had hit 1 million likes on TikTok. I know that 1 million likes is nothing compared to most people on the internet. Look at Mr. Beast. He almost has a total of 50 billion views across all of his channels. But that number 1 million was always so huge to us back then, and it was rare to achieve that goal. It only took me about 10 years to reach it, but better now than never. Thank you to everyone who has supported my content creation over the years, and also everyone who helped create my videos by featuring in them, giving me tips, and also being behind the scenes and sharing video ideas and helping editing. This video alone was not just created by me. I had help from friends who have never even been seen in my videos before. They helped me write the script for the video, come up with ideas for editing, and they basically forced me to make it. So shout out to you guys. Anyway, here's some of my favorite moments from YouTube over the years. Enjoy. You will not be in there. Yes. Yes. God, it's a bit packed in here. That's the problem. Look at this. We have no space, but if we cleared out this, we'll have more room. That's yeah. I can't get out. Help me. Hey, I need you to get out of here now. Hurry up. What? I need you to get out of here, or you'll get banned from here. Oh, shit. All right, all right, well, I'll get out right away. <laughs> hey, oh, let's go. Selfie jump. No, ah, ow, that, that was really awkward. <laughs> All fighters are now in the ring. Let's see who wins this. He rushes towards him. Oh, he's been Nate Robinson. He's trying to get <laughs> Are you good? <laughs> <laughs> I can't get down. I've got a disabled hip already, so. Right, for all the girls out there, look at that man's hair. His name's Lewis Stone, he's single. Look at his hair. Yeah. If you don't know, bro, D go back now, group work. Check out the. Whoa! That was a good weak foot there. Person coming, let's go. I can't see. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, let's go, let's go. From now, I can't promise I'll make videos again like I used to. Mostly because what I want to do in life doesn't involve me holding a camera and filming at all, but instead enjoying the moment as I travel around the world. Will this be the end of my YouTube journey? Absolutely not. But I want to make content that is worth watching and what I'm proud of. It may take a while, but only because I want you all to enjoy every second of it.